Hey there, Mission Control. Well, tonight we're going to continue the flashback series, and we're going to be going over the build of the solar panels. Now, I think I'm going to end up doing another uh, video in the future once we get through this winter where I can actually go out there and really walk through the solar panels because I know a lot of you have a lot of questions about it. And I know that when I got the, the kit, <clears throat> I bought it from uh, freecleansolar.com. When I went online, it looked like they had the best price. They gave me some good help. Uh, so they took care of all the engineering plans and everything for me. Uh, anyway, when I got the kit, and we'll see it all show up, uh, you know, it took me a while to kind of figure out how to piece it all together. So I know that it'd be valuable for a lot of you homesteaders out there, uh, back on earth, if you will, uh, that would like to have a little bit more detail than what I'm going to do here tonight. But you will see some pretty cool things uh, and some things that might help you with your own solar installation tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we start off here by receiving the actual solar panels. Again, I bought them from uh, freecleansolar.com. Very nice folks there. Uh, everything came shipped uh, right to my door. I actually asked for all the steel and everything to be shipped to me directly because I just didn't have time to go to my local supplier and get it. So it all came on big truck and got delivered. Here we have the uh, solar posts. They've been cut. You have to get a metal cut chop saw and a blade, chop saw blade. I had the chop saw, cut it all. Uh, sink them in cement to the appropriate depth and then you start putting the uh, cross members on which is what you see here in this picture uh, this was during our big work party and then you have to make sure everything lines up correctly so we actually had to do this a few times uh, how to put the solar panels on correctly and we ended up figuring out that the right way to do it is shown here in the picture get that very first layer on at the very bottom because everything kind of sits in from the top there's little rails that the panels and the bolts that come with them attach to so you get that first row on make sure it's plumb and straight and everything uh, and then you're set. Everything else just slides right in place. It's pretty easy. Uh, to there, on the left hand side down the bottom, there's actually a cement block. That's a four foot by four foot by four foot cube cement block. Uh, that's for wind power in the future. We'd like to put it there. I think that's just a beautiful picture. Man, that, that was a dirty, uh, <laughs> that was a really messy work environment there. Hey! I think that's my signature move, man. The fawn's got nothing on the real Martian, huh? Uh, kind of look at perspective here way back in the corner there you see a little dot to the top of the solar panels that's me uh, I'm five foot eight and I'm standing right behind those up on a ladder uh, man that thing is beautiful isn't it it is just absolutely gorgeous to see those solar panels uh, I really love them I mean they're awesome when they're up and running uh, it is really fantastic to see the whole thing go so uh, yeah, everything here, again, this is all optimized for grid tie system, which means that the inclination, the angle that those uh, panels are at is really optimized for summertime gain. Excuse me. So here we are now. The worst part of the project is uh, trenching and then running on the wire for this thing. So 750 feet of wire. If you can put it as close to your house as possible, do it. We didn't have that option. This is the only place we can install it, so uh, you got to get down. I think it's about three feet is what's required. Uh, this this picture I'm showing because not only did I sink wire in the ground, but I also put a pipe in for methane uh, to our propane tank, which eventually uh, we want to get rid of and then uh, be able to actually plumb the biomethane directly into our hot water heater and our cooktop in the house. And we think we should have enough methane to do that job, so I actually put the piping in and everything is just sitting there empty right now with caps on the end uh, but it's ready to go there's the big spool of wire for the solar panels again 750 feet uh, that is a lot of wire by the way I'm not an electrician I don't pretend to be an electrician I got taught how to do a lot of these things uh, by an electrician and uh, by electricians excuse me uh, but I am not even going to try to pretend like I know what the heck's going on with electricity. <laughs> I'm an engineer, but man, I swear I should have paid more attention in electrical engineering. So all you engineers out there, pay attention in electrical engineering. These pictures here are showing that we had to trench into the barn because we actually were running power. The solar power comes all the way up to the house, 
and then from the house we actually have power going out to the barn which is already there and from the barn we run power all the way out to the site and you had to do that uh, so that we didn't have to drop more transformers on the the property uh, and we didn't have to uh, put a whole lot more wire in the ground and there was absolutely no rocks in the ground digging was so amazingly easy it took us no time at all not there was rocks everywhere as soon as I found one I swear I think rocks live in families you know and there's like at least a family of three yeah that one is half the size of a Volkswagen the picture doesn't do it any justice that took a while to get out so uh, we got lots of landscaping rocks here at the ranch it is a long trench we started off with just a trencher hoping that you know the ditch witch could do the job I made it part of the way into it and realized nope this is inside the building we actually trenched everything in there to run the electrical to all the grow lanes and uh, future uh, processing stations and then there is the trencher that when it did work uh, put a nice little curve in there uh, running out to the solar panels that is a very very long trench I also put water uh, from the barn came all the way out to the building so we have water right there if you ever seen inside of your main power unit here's what it looks like uh, you have to have the uh, our, we have a public utility district but the power company has to come out we installed I installed uh, the power switch here that's shown in this picture uh, that's a master on off so in case there's a fire or anything fire department could come flip the switch turn off the power de-energize the system and then you go through the wall here into our main boxes uh, so I have that conduit run and now I've got the wires going through it you'll start to notice that these panels have quite a few placards and stickers on them uh, that's required by law you have to get those made uh, they everything came in my kit it was all just you know here get it all done the only thing I think we had to do is you know buy the wire and buy all the electrical connectors but otherwise everything came in the kit so here it is we got the master switch on the outside and when I was doing this uh, I, I I did it all to the plan so here's one thing the plans got wrong is you actually needed to have another breaker in between the the switch and the main panel and that's so if you're out there digging or something and you hit that line um, you know you the breakers are going to trip and you're not going to fry yourself so uh, had to do a, a side mount here and then put this extra breaker in that you're seeing in this picture uh, so if you're out there digging there is a breaker out at the site and there's a breaker here so it's going to trip on both sides so it's very safe and then here we're running uh, power water everything in or out excuse me from the barn uh, and taking it out to the main site so we had to uh, cut into the main box out in the barn and put everything in there and believe it or not I actually did everything to code uh, I had all everything was inspected uh, here we are out in the building everything's been inspected here I got it all right again thanks you guys know who taught me how to do this so thank you very much really appreciate it and when you uh, do put power out of the site you need to have a ground so there's actually two six foot I think there's six foot uh, they're longer than that. Uh, Ten foot long ground bars down on the ground. You got to have those buried horizontal down the ground, or you got to sink them. Uh, so here is the main box out of the solar panel site, and then here's the ground here. You didn't have to actually put this one horizontal. Uh, this one you can go vertical, but it's a full uh, grounding rod right down in the ground there. Here's a shot of the wires. Uh, everything underneath each solar panel has to be connected to an optimizer. Uh, again all part of the kit these are all solar edge components and then here you're seeing the main uh, junction box connected to the two inverters uh, this is a 16.5 kilowatt system so it has two inverters on it they're all Wi-Fi connected so we can actually view everything on the web it's a great install let's uh, go into a little bit more detail and talk about the project yeah uh, I was really excited when we got this thing all put together um, I remember being out there I had uh, my folks were here and uh, they came and helped us out kind of finishing everything up here and I was out there and I went and all, once I, I got the phone call from the inspector that we we're good to go I called the PUD uh, the power company and I, and I told them the inspector said good to go and they said energize and that was uh, you know when you work that hard for something it feels really good 
uh, to get the okay to turn it all on. And then knowing that you learned all those things, you put it all together, it's your your sweat, your labor, your blood. There's plenty of blood in this project. I cut myself, I, I hurt my knee, broke my knee, a uh, chunk of my knee bone came off. Uh, not the patella, but the little bump underneath the patella uh, broke. I mean, this was a hard, hard project. And when you get that, hey, you're approved, turn it on. It was a very exciting moment. So I go out there, I'm really excited. And there's two switches, one on each inverter. And all you got to do is go and turn it on. And then everything energizes. It sinks to the grid. There's no batteries in this system yet. Though Tesla, uh, if you're out there listening, I would love to get two of your power walls and plug into the system. So if there's any way you would like to sponsor us here at The Real Martian, please send us two power walls because that would be fantastic. Uh, anyway, power wall two, twos. So I go out to the site. I flip the switches. Everything starts synchronizing. And it's it goes into nighttime mode. I'm like, that ain't right. That's not right at all. So I go get the manual, flipping through the manual, and it says nighttime mode. Enters this when it's nighttime. I'm like, well, thank you. Duh. Uh, so I sit out there, I look at it, I'm like, I know I wired everything right. I had labels on everything. I connected it all. I had somebody else inspect it, make sure I did everything right before I even uh, took the labels off. You know, there's two-person check there because you start to doubt yourself when you do these things. And I started going, oh, my goodness. That means I made a mistake somewhere with all those optimizers. There's 50 panels, 50 optimizers. I'm going to have to trace every single wire. I'm going to have to take it all apart. And and we're not going to get to turn it on. And this is horrible, right? That's what I'm thinking in my head. So I go up to the house. I get, I go to the only place I know where to go, Google. And of course, I ask Google, the all-knowing Skynet. And I say, you know, nighttime mode, solar edge, problem. And anyway, there's a whole bunch of contact the supplier. There's an issue, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And I was dejected, totally upset. And anyway, long story shorter, I went out there, I sat on the ground, was ready to cry, I was so mad, and I just had this thought. I'm like, those knobs were keyed. What if I didn't put them in right? So I went up to the inverter, I flipped the switch back to off, and as soon as I flipped it back to off, it went pop. And I knew it. I was exactly right. The key that was on that switch, uh, I don't know if I can do it. There's like a C channel, and then there's an, a receiving side here. And if that channel's off, then it can't receive uh, the right key, uh, like a key in your door. So as soon as I flipped it to off, boom, the key went in place. And then I turned the whole thing to on, and it was awesome. I jumped for joy. I screamed. I hoot and hollered, man. It was, if I had guns and I was in Texas, I'd be boom, 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 man. Old West style. I was so excited. Fireworks were going off. The skies opened. Angels came down and sang on top of our solar panels. That might be a slight exaggeration, but I was that excited. It was way awesome. Uh, those things lit up like Christmas trees. The, the kilowatt hours kicked in. It was late in the afternoon, but they were still rocking. And then I got this video. Here we're at we go. our house, and we just connected solar panels, and I'm going to show you the meter running backwards. The little two lines down at the bottom, as they move to the left, means that we're producing more power than we're using. So see how it's going from left to right? Right here, these little things right here, you'll see them move. As they go this way, we're making more power. There we go. Pretty awesome. Now, it was so exciting to see the meter go backwards. I, I, I loved it. I mean, this video doesn't do it any justice. I was jumping around doing the dance, man. I was so, so excited. Uh, had the air conditioner on, the stove, the fans, everything was going, and it was still running backwards. It is so cool to see that and know that your energy is coming from the sun. Uh, it really gives you that sense of 
independence, even though we're still connected, it's still, you know, kind of cool knowing that you're producing your own power on site. Uh, very exciting moment. So anyway, I'll definitely do another video come uh, springtime when the four feet of snow we have outside finally melts. Uh, hopefully springtime of 2017. Uh, <laughs> because there's a lot of snow out there. It might take a year. So, hey, uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to follow. We really appreciate that support. Hit the little bell to the left to subscribe if you'd like to be notified whenever I post a new video. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian. Out.